had to move a lot of um, shrubs and plants around. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a different type of video. It is going to be a story time. Um, I've never done one of these before, so anyway. But welcome to my channel. Um, click that subscribe button. So anyway, um, a few days ago, actually on May um, 13th at work, it was a Friday, I um, kind of broke my finger. So, and I was, you know, before that happened, I was thinking, you know, I'm watching all these story times and I would like to do a story time video myself, but my life has been kind of um, non-eventful so until a couple days ago so anyway um, I was at work and again I work outside it's a nursery and we had to move a lot of um, shrubs and plants around because um, it was gonna be a frost so anyway so you know I'm there having fun, moving all the plants around, and then lo and behold, I fall. And we kind of have a gravelly floor or gravel ground, and I think I tripped on like um, rebar. It's like a long um, kind of stake thing to be able to stake trees so they don't fall over. Anyway, there's a bunch of those on the ground, and I tripped. And I tried to catch myself, but instantly I knew that something was wrong and I kind of landed like this anyway so um, before I go on if you are um, squirmish as a disclaimer if you're squirmish to broken fingers or anything um, you don't need to watch this but so I fell and I just laid there for a minute and I'm thinking okay something's wrong and so I get up and I tell my manager I think I hurt myself and I do have kind of um, a little bit of anxiety and so I panicked I went to my manager I go I hurt myself and um, I could bend my finger and I could move it but maybe I shouldn't have anyway and I put ice on it right away and he looked at it and he goes oh you know you're okay um, it's not swollen and you can bend it so I don't think it's broken and that happened at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon well I just let I wanted to leave just because you know again I suffer from a little bit of anxiety and I was getting anxious and thinking something was wrong and so I go home and I get home at like 4 and um, I take Advil and I take a bath and you know the bath felt good you know the warm hot water on the hand felt good and so when I bent my finger and I'm thinking okay it's not broken so I text I texted my boss and said I think my fingers okay you know sorry for panicking well lo and behold it wasn't okay so an hour later and then I was just like editing or watching TV or something and my finger was swelling up and I'm going okay this isn't good and so again my anxiety and panic came back and so I was calling all my friends and calling people I know to see if you know they could um, help me and nobody was home and all my friends kind of live far away so I went to a neighbor that I know and thankfully she was home and and where I live there's a hospital like five minutes away so we just went to the emergency room she and I just needed moral support or you know somebody with me so she came with me and we you know did the deed of going to the emergency room and it only took about two hours but um, the woman looked at it, the doctor looked at it and said, yes, indeed, you do have a little bro a little break, because um, I guess I bent my finger backwards or something. Oh, it just, thinking about it and talking about it kind of still grosses me out because it just happened a few days ago. 
but it's a little break. It's nothing, you know, my finger's going to be fine. So anyway, that night I'm going, oh shoot, I'm not going to be able to sleep and I'll, you know, be in pain and all this. Well, actually the finger doesn't hurt itself. It just was a little swollen, so I really iced it. And then um, Saturday rolled around, and I did get enough sleep, thank goodness. Saturday came, and my boss called me and said, well, because it's so cold, you don't need to work. And it was a different boss, and or a different manager, and she didn't really know that I broke my finger yet. And I said, well, that's good, because my finger did end up being broken, and I want to stay home. So anyway, so that worked. And so all day Saturday, I kind of, actually I went to my friend Linda's house, kind of, you know, just comforted me because I don't have like a mother or, you know, somebody to, you know, be with me. So anyway, and I'm such a baby when I get hurt. But, um, so we went shopping and then I went home and I was on YouTube and I was icing it and I'm going, oh no, that the swelling isn't going down. And so I, um, went to bed and I took Advil and I iced it and then the next day I was watching YouTube and I was just looking well, how can you you know home remedies to um, heal a broken finger faster or something and they said to massage it and so this is the finger it's my middle finger on my left hand anyway so I ne I needed to show you that because I need to show you on my other hand so YouTube said you can massage going down, going towards your heart. So that's what I was doing. And then on the back, and the back of this finger is kind of black and blue. So I was massaging it, massaging it. And then I was thinking, oh, maybe I can take another bath. And like, I was thinking of using Epsom salts. And Epsom salts are good to reduce swelling and inflammation. So, but then I called the nurse and she said, no, you can't really do that. You just need to ice it. So. On Saturday night, that's what I did, and then Sunday, um, and if I said a day wrong, sorry about that, but Sunday, um, I was supposed to go to work, and I was thinking that they would call me and say they didn't need me, but they didn't, so I went to work at like 10, and it was nice outside, and I just had to, um, I can work, I just can help the customers and do the register, so I was thinking, okay, it's going to be easy day. Well, it was a little cold outside, and I was wearing a sweater sweatshirt and my left hand was like kind of cold colder than my right hand and I'm going oh no my blood circulation is blocked or you know I just panic about stupid stuff like that and I mean it's not stupid but I just panicked and so like at 12 I wanted to go home and so thank goodness they let me go home and so all day yesterday I, I actually went back to the ER right when I got home from work and to just double check and make sure everything was okay. And she said, yes, you indeed can take a bath with hot water and Epsom salts, but then right away ice it for 15 minutes. And so that's what I did And taking Advil. And again, the finger doesn't hurt. It's just a little swollen, but it is getting better. And today is Monday. And so I called, I work at another job on Mondays and I called and said I didn't want to work. And he said, that's fine. So all day today, I um, kind of cleaned my house and, you know, hung out and I haven't really done anything to the finger. I'm kind of like ignoring it, <laughs> but, um, and I wanted to film this story time video for you. So it was kind of short and sweet, I know, but anyway, so that is how I got injured at work. And then also, yes, I did get workman's comp. Um, and I felt bad doing that, but I got hurt at work, and my finger is a little broken, and so what do you do? So anyway, if you enjoyed this story time, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And, you know, thinking about it now, I do have a lot of other stories I could share or do story time videos on. So anyway, well, hope you guys are having a fabulous day, and I'll see you in my next video. Alright, bye.